Some of the most popular videos on this channel are when we share SaaS ideas that we think you might wanna validate and consider building. So in this video, I'm gonna dive into five new SaaS ideas we've never talked about before. And if you stick around till the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus idea. These ideas come to us from two places. One is nugget.one, and I wanna thank the founder, Justin Vincent, for allowing us to showcase a few of their ideas. In addition, we talked to a handful of people about problems they experience either as a business owner or at their day job, and we've included those in this video as well. The first is high-rise window cleaning management software. You gotta love the niches. The person who requested this says, I work for a window cleaning company. We do interior and exterior cleaning with a specialty in high-rise window cleaning. For example, cleaning the outside of the Empire State Building. There are many barriers to scheduling at my company, like the skill level of the technicians available, types of equipment needed for a particular job, date and time range when the job can be completed. I'd love a program that takes all this information and creates a Gantt chart and automatically creates a schedule based on the different resource availability. Again, the type of tech, lift availability, etc., and plugs it in with certain dates. There are some programs that do this to a degree, but none of them are effective because most of them are designed for the construction industry. So none of them allow for automatically repeating jobs. I'm actually familiar with a lot of the Gantt chart project planning construction software as I did used to work in construction. Back to the requester. In my industry, you may have to do a job as frequently as weekly or as infrequently as one to two times per year. What an idea. This is something I would never think of on my own. Can this be a $10 million ARR company? Probably not. I don't know anything about the market size, but I'd wanna know how many businesses in the country have this need at all. And then you take a fraction of that and figure out, is this sellable? Can I price this software at a price point that supports the effort it's going to take to sell and support to high-rise window cleaners? Those would be some of the questions I'd be asking myself. Idea number two is client management software for small law firms. The requester writes, I'm a paralegal at a small law firm. All of the current software available for client management is outdated and does not fit our needs. We need something that can easily track deadlines as well as contain templates frequently used in filing and correspondence. The software also needs to be able to hold client demographic information and notes with date timestamps with open fields to document client interactions. It would be helpful if the system used a web-based program so that we can log in from any browser instead of using a VPN. Ooh, it kind of shows you the state of legal software when they're having to VPN into servers and run it on a client system. Of course, these days making it web-based would be a natural thing to do. That's just how we would build it. I'm intrigued by the fact that there are 47,000 law firms in the US alone, 35,000 law firms with five or fewer employees and 700,000 lawyers working in small firms with 10 or less employees. So this is a big market. Now, selling software to legal is difficult, but this really feels like a legal CRM the way they describe it which is an existing category. So the question in my mind is, can you find out what's wrong with all the other legal CRMs, if that's the term they use, and figure out how to not only build it, but to market and sell it better than the incumbents. Idea number three is a monitoring system for sysadmins, or as some would say, sysadmins. The requester says, it would be really nice to have a centralized platform that could actively analyze my entire environment and tell me what systems, appliances, servers, etc. that need active patching. It seems every time I log into something I haven't needed to log into in a while, it's always several versions behind and suddenly I need to update it to maintain current functionality or it needs to be updated for security reasons. As far as I know, there isn't a good system that can monitor lots of different third-party applications. I would pay good money for a singular piece of monitoring software that could keep track of current update statuses for a plethora of different systems and applications. We have some systems that monitor, maintain, and update some things, such as servers and desktops or laptops, but it's all the other things I struggle to keep track of. Idea number four is an Oracle BI importer. The requester writes, I am an Oracle business intelligence or BI consultant, and my main task is to reverse engineer my client's current financial process, which is typically in large Excel spreadsheets and built in Oracle BI financial software. One function I'm constantly using is VLOOKUP and building the formula in these spreadsheets over and over again. I could use a macro to build the macro and fill the columns with the formula, but the columns that I have to compare are always in different positions between spreadsheets. If someone could develop software that 
allows you to import two files, source and target, and have a simple user interface that allows you to pick source and target columns with a nice output tab that would be huge in our industry. I've even tried to build something, but it's hard to make it dynamic and also have a graphical user interface. I have to manually type the VLOOKUP formula every time. I would pay up to $100 for a license for this. Idea number five feels similar to idea number four, but maybe a bit more recurring. It's a CSV to ERP importer. The requester says, we send electronic payment files to banks on a daily basis. The payment data comes out of our ERP system. However, we need to reformat the data for every bank, country, and payment type. ACH, EFT, check, etc. It would be great to have software that has a library of all payment formats and is able to translate our data to the layout that the bank can process. We tried to develop software internally. It hasn't been a success. We need more resources and time, which is not feasible for us. Little known fact, I was a developer for a credit card company and we dealt with this on a weekly basis. We had one or two developers. All they did was build things to move flat files via secure FTP and sometimes it was fixed width and sometimes it was a CSV and other times it was tab based, it was terrible. So I have seen the pain of this firsthand. I'm intrigued by this. Now, is selling this software gonna be easy? I don't know. Building it would be actually be kind of fun because there's a bunch of edge cases you have to take care of and making it really solid would be an interesting moat. Obviously, you need to have more conversations before building this, but I hope you enjoyed hearing about it. In a minute, I'm going to give you a bonus idea, but before I do that, I want to let you know about MicroConf Connect. We have relaunched it. This is our Slack channel, our online community with more than 5,000 bootstrapped and mostly bootstrapped SaaS founders. The doors have reopened. You can head to microconfconnect.com to apply and to learn about the free option, the basic option, and the premium option. We have paid options now that include a ton of amazing benefits, and it really is a vibrant and supportive community, unlike any other you'll find on the internet. So again, microconfconnect.com. I included this as a bonus idea because I'm kind of unsure if this is actually micro SaaS, is it a desktop utility, but let's call it super clipboard. The requester says, our current software is old and clunky and requires a lot of copy pasting back and forth between our software and other software and documents, generally in the form of names, phone numbers, work history, etc. I would love to see a way to extract this data quickly and orderly rather than having to copy paste item by item to make integrations easier. It could scan or scrape the information from our current software and neatly organize it into a text box or a form that is easy to edit. If you like this video and you're looking for six more SaaS ideas, check out this video. In it, I also give you a tip for finding marketplace SaaS opportunities.